take from that that you would characterize, for example, this year's deficit at $40 billion or the next two years, which are about 10 to $12 billion higher than anticipated at budget, as modest? And can you understand how Canadians might greet that with some skepticism, given your government's track record hasn't always been restrained? And I'll provide you with a few examples and, and offer you the opportunity to respond. $50 million on an uh, app, Arrive Can, that never worked. The federal public services employment growth rate is three times greater than the population growth rate. Uh, spending on contracting has increased by more than a third since just 2017. Yeah, um, truly thank you for the question because I believe from all the conversations I have across the country that Canadians understand now is a time we need to invest. I find people are particularly focused on investments in housing. I find certainly parents and grandparents very focused on child care. I think but that's are, different than the examples I laid out with respect. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to those, I, I promise. Um, people are really aware that we need to invest in the industrial transformation of our country. And I think people really want to know that we're doing it in a fiscally responsible way. I think that's kind of the base setting of Canadians. And I agree with that. And so, and I think it can be hard for people to judge, you know, is it fiscally responsible or isn't it? We're here in Ottawa, I think the House of Commons is behind us. There are lots of partisan talking points flying around. And so what I would say, you know, to you, but even more to people listening to us and watching us, um, I get that you don't want me to grade my own homework. And I get that hearing me say, government is fiscally responsible, you want some proof points. So I'll give you two quick proof points. The first one is Canada's debt and Canada's deficit right now, today, are the lowest in the G7. That is significant. Second thing, and this speaks to, I don't believe we should grade our own homework. I don't expect you to want us to grade our own homework. There is someone out there whose job it is to give us a grade. And that is quite literally the ratings agencies. And the grade that the ratings agencies are giving Canada right now, today, is the highest grade possible, a AAA credit rating. And but that just because is because I have a good credit rating from my bank, does that mean that I should increase the size of, you know, the staff that I have at my workplace or, you know, at a, at a, at a pace faster than is needed, for example, in the public service? I mean, you've admitted to that pace perhaps being too fast and that the cuts that you're now looking to make over the next five years are all focused on that. The rating that the agencies give us is based on where we are today and it's based on what they think is sustainable going forward. So they're looking at two things. They're looking at how strong is the economy and is it growing? So they understand you need to make investments to be sure you have growth. And what they also think about is, is the rate of investments in line with the expected rate of growth, with the return on those investments? That's what they're expecting of us. I think broadly that's what Canadians expect of us. And that is what we are absolutely committed to delivering. That's